Let's see which of our parent function will give us inverse also as a parent function. Okay, so here we have a list of parent functions. These functions which we will be considering are constant function, linear function, quadratic function, absolute function, reciprocal function, or rational function also you can think. Reciprocal is a basic rational function, cubic function, and sinusoidal function. Okay. Now, the question here is, circle the parent functions whose inverse is not a function. Okay. Now, how will you find that which parent function's inverse is a function and which is not a function. Okay, think about their graph, right? And then, then think about the inverse. Let's also read the next part. What unique common characteristics failed some inverse from being a function for the parent function? I think it's better to answer, discuss part B, right? So part B says, what unique common characteristics failed some inverse from being a function for the parent function? So, what do you think are the common characteristics which you should be looking for in the parent function so that you know that their inverse will not be a function? Do you remember? Well, I hope you do. One of the characteristics is horizontal line test. This is one of the characteristics, right? Can you name me one more characteristic, just one more, which you see in those parent functions and from there you can say, well, its inverse will not be a function. The second one is kind of tricky. It is even symmetry. Even symmetry. Right? How? See? Now let's look into these parent functions and see which ones have even symmetry and which ones fail the horizontal line test. Constant functions. Is inverse of constant function a function? How will this constant function look like? Well, the constant function is like this, right? It is basically a horizontal line, right? So, it will fail. Because when you find inverse of it, then it will become kind of a vertical line. Do you see that? Do you see that? And it fails a vertical line test. And of course, if it is a horizontal line, it will fail horizontal line test also. What is it? When you draw a horizontal line, it should not cut it more than one place. But here, it just overlaps. Right? So, circle the parent function whose inverse is not a function. So, that should be circled. Right? Now, linear function. I purposely kept linear. Line is also linear. Right? But I purposely kept them separate to highlight that this linear function, we are considering these kinds of lines, right? Not the horizontal line. I'm calling horizontal line as a constant function. And the linear functions which I'm saying here is of the form of y equals to mx plus b, okay? Okay. A uh, line which is vertical is also linear, right? But we are not considering that because vertical line itself is not a function, right? Okay. That's a very important point to understand. Linear functions inverse will be a function, right? And therefore, that's fine. How about quadratic function? Quadratic function, does it fail the horizontal line test? Or is it an even function? Yes, it is an even function. Mind it, this is also an even function, right? And this is also an even function, correct? Because these two things are equal. And it also fails what? horizontal line test. Therefore, we can circle this one also. Its inverse is not a function. How about absolute function? Now, absolute function is given as uh, this, which is also even, right? 
and it fails horizontal line test this also fails horizontal line test so the inverse is not a function so let me circle this also correct how about the reciprocal function now in case of reciprocal function we have it has odd symmetry and it is like this it doesn't fail horizontal line test so it is okay its inverse is a function how about cubic function cubic function is kind of like this right that's okay it doesn't fail horizontal line test so its inverse will be a function and how about the sinusoidal function well sinusoidal function fails horizontal line test let's say let me draw start from here okay so if we move on it's like a periodic wave right so it will fail horizontal line test therefore its inverse is not going to be a function unless and until we restrict its domain let's say if it is restrict the domain then it can be made function that way all these can be made function if you restrict the domain from 0 to infinity well these are also functions inverse of these are also functions correct but in general where domain is all real numbers these are the functions whose inverse will not be a function correct fine and then we found out there are two characteristics which help us identify horizontal line test is the key right that's the main characteristic but just to name one more it could be even symmetry we see even symmetry in these right parent functions this is also having even symmetry how this one has odd symmetry okay but a variation of this cosine function has even symmetry okay fine i hope you understand thank you